Welcome to another Wisdom for Life. I'm here with Sam Hendy, who is a marketing specialist at Hemsley Fraser. Welcome, Sam. Thank you. We are talking uh, today about the the journey from uh, full time education to the workplace, specifically Sam's journey into Hemsley Fraser. Um, so, being new, Sam, could you just tell us a little bit about how you came to be here? And what you do here, really, just so people can sort of understand your role. Yeah, um, so basically, I'm from Plymouth originally. Yeah. Um, I went to Plymouth University and studied marketing, um, which was a four-year course. So I recently graduated. Um, Sort of, my role at Hemsley Fraser is marketing specialist, so I'm going to be sort of coordinating campaigns for the Digital Hub. Right. Um, In terms of how I got to Hemsley Fraser, after university, I was working at a small marketing agency, um, enjoying it, good work, but sort of, I felt slightly limited, yeah. I couldn't sort of grow. Uh, I saw this opportunity that come up just over Seltash, and it's literally a five minute drive from where I live, which was yeah. perfect. Not the only good thing, but it was a major bonus. Um, applied, come over, and yeah, here I am. It's been a good first four weeks. It's been very... So it's only on. four weeks. You're only yeah. four weeks in. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's, uh, been a lot to learn, a lot to take in, but yeah. it's been really good so far. Because you've done marketing both as a academic subject yeah. and now you're doing it in a professional capacity. Is there much difference? I mean, what 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 is the difference? What is marketing? What are you doing? I'd, I'd say it is at sort of university. They teach a lot of theories, and people have heard this before. But yeah, so many theories, and they say, "Oh, this is how you apply it." but it's never actually the same as actually being in the workplace and using those theories. Yeah. And you don't, you don't always, all right, nine times out of 10 you would, but you don't always use the theories and apply them. It's more just common sense. Yeah. Um, but I think if I look back onto what uni's done for me, it's more, marketing's more like a mindset. It's not necessarily an actual skill where I can say to someone, oh, I can do A, B, and C. It's more yeah. of a way you approach things and how you think about things. Right. So it, it's sort of universities, the mindset, the theory, more like intrinsic sort of factors. And then yeah. when you actually get to the workplace, it's more hands-on, right, you know the background to it. It's actually delivering and uh, yeah. doing it now, which is quite a good, quite sort of a good balance between the two. When you talk about university, there's obviously the, the uh, degree element, mm-hmm. but then there's all the other yep. life element, yeah. if you like. Um, was there anything within your university experience that sort of prepared you for the workplace or is it very much just get out there i think as a student you sort of live in like a, a bubble it's sort of it's an extension from secondary school and a levels yeah. you sort of a lot of people probably myself included just want to stay in the education bubble it seems a lot safer at the time yeah um so you sort of try to forget about the bigger world and everything else you just want to stay in education and be taught all the time instead of actually being more sort of proactive yeah but on my course so it was a four-year course the third year was in industry so a placement oh, okay. so that was always in the back of my mind of what well, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to apply it in my third year yeah um, so yeah uni itself it's the placement year was very beneficial put it that way it was yeah. I think without that I'd sort of struggle in my current position but yeah. luckily I did it and yeah. here I am so you basically, so it's almost like you've got a taste, a year's taste yeah. of the real world. Then Pretty much. Degree, yeah, because it's all the, like at the end of each lecture, the lecturers or the guest speakers will say, oh, it's like this in the real world. And you've got to take their word for it. Yeah. But actually having that year placement sort of made you actually believe it for yourself and agree or disagree with what they're saying. So do you think that year's placement uh, made you approach the final year any differently than you might have done if you hadn't had the placement? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, so not all of my friends actually did the placement, so they right. finished a year earlier, which yeah. at the time they thought, brilliant, that's great, can start earning and go to the big world. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I think it was really important to, to get it done because as you're sort of doing your dissertation in your final year and more deadlines, harder work, you sort of, you understand why, why you're doing it. So yeah. in the long run, Right, um, it's gonna aim. I'm gonna aim to be in this position, and this is gonna help me because of that. Instead of just doing it sort of blindly. Oh, so it made it made the studying yes, exams so dissertation more relevant, more almost worthwhile in a way. Okay. So yeah. first and second year you're doing it, you don't really understand why you're doing it. Yeah. But getting that placement and that industry sort of experience, you understand. Okay, so if I put 
my effort into this is going to help me in the long run because I've experienced that already. And so you mentioned earlier about um, your initial sort of thoughts were at university stuff was given to you, yep. whereas at, in the workplace you have to be a bit more proactive, I think was the word you yep. used. Have you found that uh, an easy experience at Hemsley Fraser that people have been receptive to sharing experience, learning, whatever it might be? Yeah, um, I mean, in my team, my team's all, they're all really helpful. I've learned quite a lot from each individual member. Yeah, it's sort of, you have to be proactive in yourself. There's no point just sitting around waiting for someone to tell you, oh, have you done this or can you do this? Yeah. Sort of trying to think a couple steps ahead yeah. without being too far ahead and someone saying, why are you doing that sort of thing? So it's it's a careful sort of balancing act to uh, to doing more than you sort of the basic level, but not going over the top. So in terms, looking back on my sort of university career, as you put it, um, a lot of people sort of see university as the end of education. So like, right, I've done GCSEs, A-levels, degree, stop, now I can start working. But I think it's quite important to realise it's not necessarily the end of education. It's sort of, I wouldn't say maybe the start, but it's a key sort of milestone. Yeah. It's sort of university helps you learn, or teach yourself how you learn. So it's not you learn an actual skill, some degrees you do, but it's more how do you learn? And right. then when you apply that to the workplace, that's when you sort of excel. Yeah. So yeah, it's not necessarily that's it, finished education, tick the box. It's more, okay, that's one approach that worked for me. Is that going to work in the future? And I guess, do you have to, because this has come up in a couple of the other podcasts around um, taking responsibility for it. Because mm-hmm. I know, you know, school, they say it's all fed to you. Yeah. University, you've got to be a bit more proactive. But then ultimately... The workplace you've got to be it's totally up to you isn't it With yeah i think it's yeah it's sort of like a i'm trying to picture it it's just a podcast but like a seesaw it's beginning there's all spoon fed to you and there you go you're just sat there take it all in yeah. university they they claim to sort of let you do more but they don't in essence it's more there's a lecture read up on it yeah. which is, it's got an interesting fact actually sort of join hemsley fraser i haven't really got a lot of experience in learning and development yeah but um Obviously, at university, you have your lectures, you go in, you make your notes, finish. You can read the lectures online later in the evening, but 90% of people probably don't. It's sort of because it's just the same content. So it's, you don't really get any benefit of going online after to read up on it again. Yeah. Whereas, like, Hemsley Fraser with, I don't know, like the digital hub, it sounds like a sales pitch now. <laughs> but um, yeah. sort of, it's, a, it's something different and you get a bit of sort of added value yes. from that. So I think it's. Yeah, university was great, but they do sort of spoon feed you a lot, yeah. even if they claim not to, right. in my opinion. Do you think university could do more to prepare people for the workplace, or is it just a yeah. matter of you've got to get in there and learn it? Yeah, I'd, I'd, from my experience, I'd say yes. Um, people may completely disagree. Yeah. I mean, it's different degrees. Oh, yeah, for marketing, it's completely different. But um, yeah, I think they could. It's They sort of, yeah, they spoon feed you the knowledge and the theories, but... It's sort of you're trying to mature as an adult and then get into your get your jobs and move on from there but it's sort of they still treat you like you still are at school sometimes right. so it's quite difficult to break out of that mold and that bubble yeah to actually moving on from education to to learning as such yeah based on sort of the the questions i've asked it's been a bit like um how different the two are yeah but i guess there's also would you say in your experience there's you learn thing. You learn disciplines at university that help you yeah, in definitely. the workplace as well. Um, I mean, the key one, obviously, for anyone in their final year, is their dissertation. Yeah, that's a massive project and a massive sort of weight on your shoulders for final year. Yeah. Um, which is fun, interesting, is stressful. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say you get treated like a project. You get your brief. You get your deadline. What you need to do, how you need to do it, when you need to do it by. Um, yeah, it definitely sort of teach me. How to work to deadlines and say obviously sometimes you work in teams you don't get to choose them like in the workplace right um so you've got to understand what certain people are good at what they're not so good at so you know i definitely say universities if anything it's taught me more sort of as a person not as a hasn't taught me a skill it's taught me how to work with other people right which is quite was an invaluable skill i don't know what you process you've kind of gone through since joining four weeks ago but has the sort of, I guess, the induction or the onboarding or whatever, is that sort of reinforced some of that stuff and helped you? 
acclimatise, yeah, if that's the right word. Um, so my manager, Rachel, she was away for two weeks when I first joined, yeah. which you'd probably think, oh, it's a shame, it's a bit of a, sort of puts me at a disadvantage, but she films videos for me, create a playlist, again, right. back to the sales pitch. Um, <laughs> and yeah, Keep talking about the hub, yeah. it's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she sent all those videos out the playlist, so it's good, so it's not like I'm just sat there twiddling my thumbs trying to work out what to do, it's, yeah. okay, this is what you could be doing, you don't have to be doing it, but it would help. But you know, the sort of induction period's been really useful. Excellent. Mm, very useful. Brilliant. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for your time. Good luck with everything. Thank you very much.